Hi, my name is Isabella Bogdansky. I'm 15, I'm from Southboro, and I go to Algonquin Regional High School, and I have thyroid cancer. How I found out that I had thyroid cancer is I found a lump on my throat, and it was the day before Thanksgiving, and I didn't really know what it was, so I asked my mom, and she didn't know either. So we went to the doctor, and the doctor, she scheduled an ultrasound, and the ultrasound, it showed that I had a lump on my thyroid, so I had to go to the hospital, and at the hospital they did a biopsy and another ultrasound, and the results, they were inconclusive, so I had to get a surgery. So after I had my surgery, the doctor, he called me, and he told me that I had a papillary carcinoma, and I didn't really know what that was, so um, I was really scared after that, and then I went to the doctor to see the surgeon, and then he told me that it wasn't as bad as it seems, and that it'll get better. For my kind of thyroid cancer, I had a papillary carcinoma, and the survival rate for that was 98 to 99%. In the Fault in Our Stars, Hazel Grace's cancer wasn't really that accurate of thyroid cancer because in her case, it only ends up in 13% of the cases of thyroid cancer as a whole, and most of the people that have thyroid cancer survive, and they're really happy in their life, and she wasn't. So the treatment for thyroid cancer was radioactive iodine, and what that did was it removed all the leftover thyroid pieces left over from the surgery. And after the radioactive iodine, I had um, counseling and therapy because I was kind of depressed and it helped me get through the cancer situation. So because of the thyroid cancer, my whole body was messed up and um, I had to get a replacement of hormones and I started to gain a lot of weight because it was a really drastic change for my body and it didn't really take it well. So for the long-term effects of thyroid cancer, you have to take medication every single day and it's really important to take it every day because that's essentially your lifelong chemotherapy and that prevents you from getting cancer again. And also you have to get an ultrasound yearly and um, a scan every two years to see if the cancer came back. So how I manage is I just try not to think about it and I try and think about the better things that came after thyroid cancer. My advice to give to anybody who has any kind of cancer is that you shouldn't worry about it because it's only temporary and you learn a lot from it and it makes you a stronger person. Cancer has changed me to be a more positive person and I have a better outlook on life and it really makes me be more grateful for life and my situation. I got a lot of support from pretty much everybody that knows me. I got a lot of support from my family, my friends. I have this bracelet and I always wear it and it's the thyroid cancer colors which are teal, blue, and pink and it just kind of reminds me how far I've gotten. Thanks for watching! Now you know more about thyroid cancer! Follow me on Twitter at ibogdansky16.